Hey y'all, it's Sparks, and I wanted to give my response to the Elon Musk challenge and the UN and how they addressed it. A billionaire offers an opportunity of a millennium. This is not the time to continue with the same beating of, an, of a dead horse. It's not. We have to be willing to step into the upgrade of a lifetime which in this case would be a Tesla in this metaphor. <laughs> so my first thing I want to address is going to be the first thing on their agenda, the UN's response and their response. They said that they would give $3.5 billion or would use that $3.5 billion for food and delivery. So my question to this is, what happens if the food cannot be transported via air, water, or land? What happens if homegrown um, terrorists, people that live on that land, don't want that to arrive. That's putting more lives at stake. We have the means, the brains, to produce earth-positive architectural structures. And I've seen it with um, him concrete and architecture that houses greenhouses and also integrates naturally with flora to enhance these areas. It is possible that we can use the land there, which is vast, um, to make a positive change. Why do we continue to fish for food products to solve these problems? that would not be nearly as nutritious in the forms that they have to be made in to be delivered and put out more carbon um, through the making of them and through the transport of them than if a stable foundation of agriculture was set up to disperse to the community um, and programs were implemented for these potentially need-driven communities to till their own land. I understand that nobody has all the answers and that this is only a small piece of the struggle and that there are some things that I have not completely seen when it comes to this, to solving this challenge. The short-sightedness I see with this plan is things like where does the water come from how can it be created and maintained what produce can be created to sustain um, the and integrate naturally into the system and the area um, and how and who is willing to create and devote their time to teaching the people in these lands how to maintain the food that is being produced there won't always be a way to give food to people, but knowledge about their local biodiversity and its ability to sustain a plentiful harvest depends on the help of knowledgeable horticulturalists and the willing survivors who have experienced this hunger and want to help such a, with such a new integration to survive. Giving food to people is beautiful, but creating a plan to instill education about the origin of their land and what resources they already have that can build off to sustain should be the ultimate goal. Achieving that is the capstone from which the UN should be theorizing on. Thank you for your time.